Welcome back to my channel, Aurora, with a li The Little Boy in the Grass, a song a lot of people don't know the story of. So as a bio channel, I have selected this song to give you the background to it. The background to the song goes as follows, and it is, it's about a quote that she made um, in 2015. Now, she referred to, should I do this first or that? I think I'll go to the actual quote itself because it said in a Facebook post in 2015, Aura referred to the Utoya massacre in 2011. I'll touch on that in a minute. And to somebody important to her who passed away that day. And she had written in Facebook in 2015, today is the day, the 22nd of July. It's been four years since she left us, since all of you left us how time flies we even find ourselves forgetting for a moment nearly moving on not because we forget you but we because we remember to live but know that i will always remember you and everyone that went down with you i will think of love and send love to those who needs this today i hope no one is crying alone rest in peace my friend you are free now and then it has the quote the title of the song little boy in the grass quote now when she was talking about the in 2011 utoya massacre that was in norway and it was referring to two domestic terrorist attacks by the far right terrorist anders bering brevik against the government the civilian population and a workers youth league U AUF summer camp in which a total of 77 people were killed so the meaning of the song today that you're about to listen is the little boy in the grass in a summary of this song and the lyrics in front of me does tell a story of a little boy who has experienced a trauma now in this case it seems to be a death and i'll go through the lyrics and see that and with aura's quote it wasn't just one person she was referring to she was referring to the friend but the spirits of those around him i think because possibly it related to this she finds the little boy in the lyrics and the way she's thinking and what she heard you know such and such has died out came the lyrics and the lyrics in front of me talks about the boy and that he's tired but he hears the sound of other children wanting to pass despite the world world being too cold and bright for their eyes the little boy runs with the other children holding their hand and jumping up to the sky so it's a very, very spiritual song. Let's listen and I'll come back with the lyrics and my interpretation of the lyrics as always. And I'll try not to deviate too much from the subject topic because it is, after all, a very moving song.
I think at the age of 15 to have written a song like that about somebody that Laura loved and somebody that she had obviously missed and left it for four years to write anything in Facebook about and then we hear the lyrics which is finally it's all over maybe that was the grief period between the travesty that was that killed 77 people in Norway and one of them being somebody that she had known and that was the grieving period before she could face or talk about it and put something in Facebook like she did and make reference and probably around 2015 it was the interim period to write the song to put her words into lyrics and then touch upon the subject matter so I feel that's what it was and it, it had taken a warrior queen four years to grieve and for everybody that was affected by such and we in Ireland have experienced that you know I have years and years ago in Northern Ireland when I worked in Belfast I remember a huge bomb going off in the street and me and my sister were walking in the street and there was no warning giving only a few minutes before the bomb was designated and we were walking through and the next thing um, everybody panicked and ran in different directions sorry for the outside noise we're getting work done on the outside of the building and what happened then was we just panicked so but there was no deaths but then you come to a situation like this and all I can say is may he rest in peace because it is a song about peace and looking at the lyrics itself it's a song that that touches on that because we we will go into verse 1 it says I will tell you a story about the little boy I found in the grass tired soul as he told me he could hear the children wanting to pass and I feel that's very spiritual I feel straight away she's talking about the spirits of himself that there, there may be a, a, a time where was he killed instantly or was he in hospital and then he was in a coma and he came out for a while I don't know what that story is because so many things with these lyrics go through my head so for those who are experiencing not a violence but somebody in hospital where they're in this world physically but they're passing to the next world I think we're in the transitional period here for this lyric because the pre-chorus is sounds of laughter in the air still today we hear them and the chorus is finally we are over it all finally we are over it all but I mean when it comes to finally we are over I think the grieving period finally I've grieved so between the introduction of the spiritual world and the spirits around the child passing to heaven I think that spirit wasn't alone in Aurora created in the lyrics other children had suffered other children will hold their hands and they will play in the garden of heaven almost it's kind of that feeling that comes off it because in the chorus finally we we're over it it could all suggest that Aurora and the little boy are finally able to move past that trauma and find healing within themselves of you know they do say time is a great healer so the post chorus consistent of ethereal vocalizations that Aurora does in this song adds to a dreamlike quality of the song and could be interpreted as the healing process as she sings about the little boy if that makes sense so we go into and I just have to keep up with my my notes on the lyrics we go into verse 2 she says let them run let them run from the violence the world is way too cold and bright for their eyes the little boy runs beside them as they take his hand and jump to the so that's the spirit leaving the body and going to heaven but not on his own they all come together all the victims and the spirits take each other to 
heaven. And the chorus says, finally I'm over it, finally I'm over it, she repeats. And she goes into those ethereal oohs and ahs, as I talked about. Now it does question here in the lyrics, when will the healing come? When will my healing come along? Sinking like a stone, when will my healing come along? So although she's had the grieving period and she mentioned it in Facebook, you never get over a death in such a horrific way. I, I would think it always plays in your mind. It's one of those situations, unfortunately. But the bridge does ask that question, when will my healing come? And further emphasizes that idea that Aurora and the little boy are searching for healing and closure. She's on the earth without him. And if the song was written when she was 15, think how young she was and affected. And was her friend 15? Was her friend a teenager? But still a child, both a child, both experiencing the first sense of real loss. Is that what we're dealing with here? The song ends on the final line, finally I am, allowing us, the listener, after listening to the song and the lyrics, to interpret that the war is over. And it does beg the question, what kind of healing did she find? But we all find, I think, with that saying, time is a great healer, healing in our own time. It just takes time. Overall, I find that the little boy in the grass presents a hopeful message, believe it or not, about overcoming trauma and finding healing through time. Simply through time. And that is my interpretation of Little Boy in the Grass. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm glad I came across it because a lot of people suffer. They need words. They need a song to relate to. And I hope this beautiful song, Little Boy in the Grass by Aurora, enables you to heal a little bit more. It's something I think at such a young age, it now reinforces why so many warrior fans call her the queen. She had an old soul even then to write such a powerful, melodic and ethereal melody to something so traumatic. The healing in the voice, the healing in the music, the oohs and the ahs, it's all about healing. And to have that from a young age, she justifiably deserves to be called the queen, the queen of healing. Take care.